This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. Friday's decision by the MHSAA to postpone football to the spring is not sitting well for many parents, coaches, and players. The Facebook group called Let Michigan High School Football Play has more than 10,000 members, all with a simple message, let them play. Jamie McElvany is a mother to a Milan football player and started the group after Friday's news. I knew that we all needed an area to get our thoughts together as to how we're going to move forward, if we're going to fight this, McElvany said. The Facebook group has given parents like Jody Obandi, the mother of a Unity Christian senior, Malachi Obandi, a place for her to voice her concerns over the decision. Several parents, including myself, are concerned for our boys, Obandi said. We're concerned for their well-being and their futures. And the group is more than just football families, as it includes several cheerleaders, band members, and their families. There are thousands of other parents who are going through the exact same thing, said Karina Crosby of Sturgis. Now we get to go through this together and we get to figure out what, if anything, we can do. Without the guarantee a season can be held, even in the spring, the group is making sure their voices are heard. The group has also started a petition on change.org. Michelle Obama didn't mince words about President Donald Trump in her speech at the Democratic National Convention, saying, if you think things cannot possibly get worse, trust me, they can and they will. The former First Lady issued a blunt and emotional appeal that capped the first night of the convention on Monday. Mrs. Obama declared President Donald Trump to be in over his head and the wrong president for our country. She said, whenever we look to this White House for some leadership or some cons consolation or any semblance or of steadiness, what we get instead is chaos, division, and a total and utter lack of empathy. Governor Gretchen Whitmer said that she was thrilled when Joe Biden chose Kamala Harris as his running mate and her decision to be vetted for the job despite earlier reservations will benefit Michigan if he is elected president. It means that I get to keep my dream job here in Michigan and be near three generations of my family in the state that I've always called home. Now we have two wonderful people that I think are going to be in the White House come January of 20. The first time governor of a battleground state was on Biden's short list and flew to Delaware to meet him on August 2nd, nine days before he announced his pick. As Whitmer said, he asked me, and so, of course, I thought that the appropriate answer was yes. What a true, true honor, said the Democratic governor, who Republicans have accused of auditioning to join the ticket by appearing on national TV shows and not being 100% focused on her job. Whitmer, who is a national co-chair of Biden's campaign and herself up for re-election in 2022, said her having a one-on-one -on -one conversation and building a relationship with the potential next president is going to benefit Michigan. She said, and for that reason, I'm grateful that I was asked to go through the process. The coronavirus has changed all of our lives, and many people don't know where to turn for help. That's why Fox 47 News, WSYM-TV, created Rebound MidMichigan, everything you need to get back on track in one convenient place. From dealing with stress to unemployment to helping put food on your table, plus ways you can lend a hand in your own community. Rebound MidMichigan, everything you need to get you through these difficult times. We may have fallen, but we will rebound together. Visit fox47news.com forward slash rebound to learn more. Learn more about all of these in all mid-Michigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.